Hey guys, this is Davis again from Davis Comic Finds. Coming at you today with a haul video. It's been a little while since I've done one of these. I've let some comics pile up a little bit and thought I'd just better share them uh, and then put them into the collection. Um, so we'll just get started. Um, I bought a pack of uh, comics. I think it was around 10 bucks at Walmart um, of course it comes with like two three packs and then an extra comic so I think you got seven comics for 10 bucks which is not bad uh, but here are some of the here are the highlights of it uh, of course the first book on the front was a blank Vader down number one so I stick that with my blank blank uh, or my uh, sketch cover uh, blanks um, also got this one, Wolverine and Fendi Watch number one. Um, Infinity Gauntlet with Wolverine claws coming out. And uh, the best book in the in the bunch was this uh, Captain Marvel Art Germ number one. Um, that goes for a bit, you know, 10, 15 bucks maybe. So happy to add that one to my collection. I've had that one before, but I didn't have, uh, I'd actually given one away and sold one, so uh, happy to have that one back. I guess next up I'll sell some, show some local pickups. Um, these first ones were dollar books at a, uh, at the 127 yard sale. Um, I got out a little bit. I didn't get out much. Uh, found a few books. Um, this is uh, Scar, Son of Hulk variant number one. And I figured these for a dollar wasn't bad. I grabbed a Spider-Man 2099 number one. Uh, Thor variant number one, zombie variant. Uh, Thor variant number four. Uh, Thor variant number six. This is Arthur Adams cover. Pretty cool cover. And the last one, uh, Wolverine Old Man Logan 67. Uh, and that's a book that's been heating up a little bit here lately. So happy to add those to the collection. Uh, these were a little more. Um, I'll show these first two. These first two, these are all from the same guy. I got these from his antique mall booth. Uh, I think I paid maybe 15 for one, and I can't remember what I paid for this Archie, but uh, first one was uh, Captain America 110, Hulk and Cap, just a Ranko cover. Um, didn't have that one, so I thought I'd add that one to the collection. Um, also got Archie's Pal Jughead number four. I've got some light coming in here. Need second and I'll adjust that. Whoop. Maybe this will help. Does that help any? Sorry about that. Uh, that helped a little. Uh, but anyways, Jughead issue number four from 1951. Uh, happy to add that one to the collection. Didn't have anything that early from Archie, so really cool book. Um, these all other ones come from the 127 sale. His booth, like I say, same guy. Got all these for a pretty good deal. I uh, got Phantom Stranger, issue 14. I gave around like 10 bucks for that. So I was pretty happy about that one. I got a Submariner, issue 6. It's got some writing on the cover, but still a cool book. Uh, Flash 184. Some writing on the cover. Um, needed a copy of this to add to my Punisher set. Got a Punisher issue five. Um, I got a Batman Adventures number one. I just grab this one when I see it. Um, Spider Girl issue five. It's a cool Venom cover. Uh, and then Amazing Spider Girl issue six. And well, issue four and issue six. Also grabbed this Arthur Adams book. Um, 
Hercules 112, Arthur Adams cover. And I grabbed this to read, uh, Mutant Animals, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. So I'm just going to read that one. Just set that right there. Um, also got a couple of the uh, uh, Spider-Man booth boxes. Um, I said I wasn't going to do it again, and then I did it again. So uh, I got a few books. I'll show off the books that I got. Um, here's a throw-in book, Quasar number one. Uh, this one was pretty cool, Amazing Fantasy 15. Little redone cover, recolored. Thought that one was cool. Tyler Kirkham Action 1000. Um, I'm sure. I'm not sure who actually. This is Brooks. So maybe on this one. I'm not sure what the issue it is, but pretty cool cover. What comic it is. And then I throw in Battle Chasers number four. And I throw in Amazing Spider-Man 352. Um, Got a Tony Daniel Venom issue 20. That's not bad. I got a Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy issue 15. Or not issue 15, issue 1. $15 what the price is on it. So I think this is Hellions number 1. That's probably the coolest cover in the bunch. Um, thought that was cool. And then uh, Spider Man 353 to throw in. So. Eh, decent. Paid 40, 50 bucks for all those. I guess you get your value if, if you like variants. Uh, I'll say I'm not going to do it again, but I can't guarantee that. So, a um, few online pickups. Uh, just grab this because I wanted it. A Batman Beyond blank. Really like that series. Really a big fan of Batman Beyond. Grab this because it's a Craven book I didn't have. Marvel Action number six. Spider-Man Craven. Uh, a few Golden Age books I got. These I grabbed because they're such high-grade books. Uh, these could be in the eight to the nine range, and they're Golden Age. So I got Tarzan. I think these maybe. Hang on, this is sixty-one. Really nice shape for a Golden Age book. This is issue 62, painted covers. And this is issue 63, I think it's the nicest copy. Um, and then I also got this, I paid like 10 bucks for this. And it's not a high grade copy, but it's complete. Everything's attached. I got a little chunk out of the front, but uh, it's Police Comics number 54. Anytime I can get a Superhero book from the 40s that's that cheap. I try to. Um, only a few more things. I got some CGC books back. Thanks to AG Surfer for helping me get these done. Um, start out with this one. I uh, submitted two books for the Frank Miller signing at CGC. Uh, first one is Daredevil 168, Origin and First Appearance of Electra. Uh, it was a 9.0 CGC. It came back a 9.0 CGC. You can see where he signed it right there. So that's that one. Uh, this one we got pressed and cleaned. It was a 9.2 CGC. And it came back a 9.6 CGC. So it bumped up two grades with a press and a clean. So that one's cool. Pressed and cleaned this one. I expected like a 2.0 on this one. So I was very surprised when I got it back in a 3.0. A good friend of mine gave me this book. So this one isn't going anywhere, but um, just wanted to get it slabbed. So it looks really nice. It's pressed, cleaned, um, low grade, but still a really cool book. And the last pickup I'll show, I've got some books coming from CGC. Unfortunately, I saw the grade on one of them and saw the notes on one of them and uh, thought I better get me a better copy. And so I went ahead and got one. Amazing Spider-Man issue 10 and a 5.0. Uh, not a major key or anything here, but still a really nice book for the collection. So 
Uh, here in another week or so, I should get the rest of my books back from CGC. And I'll share those. Let me know what you thought of what I've picked up here recently. Um, let me know what your favorite was. And as always, have a great rest of the day.